So today, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to be saving money by doing your own flooring. Uh, if you're doing a, if you have an investment property, but the only tools that you're going to need is, of course, your safety glasses, uh, a blade, a tape measure. Uh, they call for a hand roller, but you know, if you have a day job and you're not a professional contractor, you're not gonna have a, a hand roller, a 75 pound hand roller. Uh, we're just ordinary people working nine to five. We don't have time to have all these tools flooring down. So if you learn how to do this, you'll be saving yourself uh, that much money. So with that being said, bending down on the floor, uh, kneeling over, uh, a scraper. Uh, as I stated before, you know, you got the carpet up and if you don't know, with carpet sometimes, uh, they put a lot of staples in the carpet and uh, you may have missed it while you were prepping the floor so it's good, or it may be some glue that you need to scrape up. So uh, you may not need it, uh, but it's always good to have it handy. Some type of pliers or something, again, um, for staples that you can just possibly pull up that you may have missed. A uh, hammer. Sometimes you may find some staples that are deep in the wood. And you more than likely need to hammer it up so that you don't punch a hole in your flooring. Uh, also, I just have some shears. I like to say, you may not need this stuff, but it's, it's good to have it uh, handy if you, if, it, uh, if you need it. Now, this is an old box of uh, the material that I used before, so look, some pieces are chipped off, which is, I think, it's gonna be okay. Probably drop it or something, I don't know. But since, you know, we're going to put these pieces on the initial uh, baseboard up under there, I think it'd be okay uh, to use. Again, this is the uh, Traffic Master vinyl planking, uh, grip strip flooring, I like it. Uh, it's about $32 a box around in that uh, price range. So it's a little expensive and it covers uh, 24 square feet so just make sure you do your math on that to see how many boxes you would need i would say just guessing on a average size house um you're going to probably be in the range of if you do the whole house ranges anywhere from a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars on material so you can't get around material, but like I said before, we're going to be saving uh, money on the actual labor. So that's what this video is about. And also you're going to be learning something as well. So you can make money uh, as well. So I think that's pretty much it. Like I said, this is a, it's very flexible. You don't really need any glue or anything like that, you just lay it on the floor. Uh, but the most important thing is your floor has to be clear of anything that may poke through it. It's pretty durable. Uh, and another tip is once you stick stick it together, it's, it's, it's gonna be sometimes difficult to take it out, uh, take it off or, but if you do it quick enough, it shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, another quick tip is, even though this wall looks straight, you always want to start off straight. You don't, because if you begin cricket, I've learned, it's just, it's just gonna, you're gonna run into some problems midway through the process. So uh, with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Again here, this is just a piece. 
here. Um, you know, there were shoe mold, you take off your shoe mold and it should just slide right here. And um, you can adjust it. Once you get the strip, you can adjust it to make sure it's straight. So, um, like I said, just always keep that in mind. Let me adjust it. Just taking the second strip here. You see, this is a sticky part here. So this, this hind side part has a sticky part as well. Another broken piece. Like I said, this is an old box. See, right here, I found a staple that I must have missed uh, in the beginning. So you just grab it and pull it. Because if you don't get all the staple, if it's not staple, but um, I think that's gonna be okay. Make sure it's even. There. All right. Uh, I think I have all of the <laughs> staples up uh, for the purpose of this video. Of course, and we're not going to do the whole floor uh, on this video. But I do want to show you something here that some people say that you can do. Uh, as you can see, I have um, started. And then there could be one more piece that can go there. But some people say you need to stagger it. So I'm just gonna go and just stagger it for the purpose of this video. And then we're going to measure out this piece here. And I'm gonna show you what you do with that, the end piece. So let's just go. All you would do is of course, just take a, a new piece here. And you just start like before. Okay, I finally finished. It didn't take long. I would say, hmm three hours for three days, or however you want to do it. Overall, I think it's pretty good. Of course, I gotta clean up the rest of the house, but hopefully you enjoyed the video. Again, like I was saying, uh, the name of the channel is the the real, real saving and making money in real estate investing and financial education. So in this video, we save about on, the, on this room alone, we saved about a thousand dollars. But I would say a whole house of this size would probably cost you anywhere up to fifteen hundred to, uh, to twenty five hundred just for this house. So I hope you learned something. Uh, if you would do me a favor, just please subscribe to the page. Uh, this is a new channel, so uh, we need all the following words that we can that we can um, find.